This morning, we bring you into the homes of thousands of Americans through a huge collaborative photography project called America at Home. All this week, 100 professional photographers are fanning out to homes and take pictures at homes all across America, and amateur photographers are doing the same. They're basing their shots on a specific theme each day, showing their most intimate places and moments. And Rick Smolin is the director of the America at Home project. Rick, good morning. Good morning. Nice My to meet you. My goodness, this is huge. What made you think you wanted to do this? And you're really going after getting some intimate moments, aren't you? Know, when, you? when you ask people to describe the word home, it uh, opens up this whole, it unleashes this whole flood of memories of what home was for them then, what it's like for their children today. So we thought it would be really interesting to invite Americans in the course of a week, every day, to focus on a different aspect of home. Monday is the big pictures. tour, take a picture of your castle. Tuesday, the morning rush. Wednesday, the midday rush. Thursday is dinner time. Friday, your sanctuary. Saturday, precious treasures. And Sunday, bedtime rituals. And this started this past Monday. Right, this it's is going, going on right now while we're sitting here. And people millions at home people right now, this. if they've got great pictures, we're going to figure out a way for them to even join the right. project. You're using these pictures to record this time in our history for a book event. Yeah, imagine if you could pick up a book from 100 years ago and see what people's homes were like before television, before electricity. How, how different would their homes be? And, and we're trying to create a little visual, digital time capsule so you can leave a message for your great-grandchildren into the future. Um, and today's theme is sanctuary. The one I really love is Sunday. Sunday is uh, bedtime. So. Uh -huh. Do you read to your kids in bed under the covers? Do you, do you, you know, eat Hagen dots watching TV? Do you do yoga? Do you have friends over? These, these are pictures taken. We have 100 professional photographers, but these pictures, many of what you're seeing are just, you know, soccer moms and, and retirees and students, just wonderful stuff. There's so much sweetness in these pictures. Yeah. And what, what do you think? I mean, you've just been able to review the ones that have been coming in so far, hundreds of thousands of them, may I say. Yeah. And, and so the question is, with this early view, what do these pictures tell us about ourselves? Well, you know, I think after 9-11, home became even more important to Americans mm. than before. I think there's an intimacy and an openness here. You feel like you're being invited into people's homes. Mm. We. Uh, Look at this. It, it's, <laughs> these, these things are incredible. Um, and you know, now, you know, every one of us, you know, there's a billion people walking around the world right now with a, with a cell phone in their pocket all the time on with, the, the uh, with a camera in it. So what does it mean when you can take and record your life and share those pictures in real time? Mm -hmm. um, but people really do. You're absolutely right. I mean, th this has become this life. I'm not sure with these particular animals, but but our lives at home ha are our sanctuaries now. And this idea of what still, you know, after all that we've lost, this is the beauty it's the of what remains. the most important place in the world, right? Mm. We have a, we have a corporate partner, IKEA, that's actually invited millions of their customers and this. the Americans to oh to share these kinds of things. My, my daughter Phoebe is seven years old. She went on a sleepover recently, and she came back. She was full of beans about how they let her eat Cheerios for dinner at at, at the neighbor's house. And she asked me if I remembered my first sleepover. And I remember eating. Um, I was about to put a, a fork of meatloaf in my mouth, and I looked around. This family was praying, and I remember thinking for the first time. Even though we all have homes, our ceremonies, our traditions, our rituals are different. So, mm -hmm. if you're, if the viewers are listening to this, if you want to be part of this digital time capsule, we have a, a website. It's called www.myamericaathome.com. Right. It's a really fun project. And the other thing that's cool, our photographers right now are using these little cameras. This right. is a Nikon. Uh -huh. A cool picture. While I take this picture of you, uh -huh. um, it goes on the internet. So this actually has a Wi-Fi chip in it. Oh. So while we're sitting here, I don't even have to go back and unload it. So that right now okay. in my office, my staff is looking at the picture. Oh, great. The shot. Thanks so much, Rick Smolin. I'm, not, I'm nervous about thank that, you. but it's thank so you fun. so much. It is fun. And by the way, for more information on America at Home, you can learn. And to learn how to participate, you can log on to todayshow.com. And coming up next, we're going to the dogs. That's But first, it's today on NBC.